Hey uh, YouTube, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is actually coming a little bit late. I should have really uh, got out last week, um, but I did actually slow down a little bit. Uh, some, I had some things that I had to do uh, that took up time, um, and I didn't actually properly finish the guys. Well, I was kind of waiting for some tufts to come in uh, to properly finish them, so uh, that's why I decided to wait on. Um, I actually finished them, I think, Monday morning. Uh, quite early Monday morning. Um, I, like, I literally had, I literally finished off like one guy and one or two guys and and based them and flocked them and everything. I think they were done within like a, an hour and a half of my of, um, morning painting session. Um, and I just basically had them just sitting here on the windowsill uh, waiting for my tufts to come, and they actually came today. Um, so uh, obviously, when I get you down to the desk in a second, second I'll show you uh, my next unit. Um, I've actually already started work on my next unit as well, uh, so um, I'll try and get this video up as soon as possible, and uh, if we're lucky we might get another video out uh, at the weekend, um, late weekend, although uh, it might just stretch into the following week again. Um, it's kind of kind of put me back, those uh, waiting around those extra sort of three days. I set my whole schedule off. Um, and normally, I like to, you know, I can normally pump out a unit and finish them by uh, the following sort of Sunday, Monday. Uh, those three days have kind of put me at an odd sort of middle of the week uh, start to, to my next unit. And um, I've, I think I've done I've done six so far, uh, and I've started work on the on the second six. Um, and uh, I suppose if I'm lucky, I might be able to finish them by Sunday. Um, of which case I might possibly get a video up Monday or Tuesday uh, and then hopefully I'll try and uh, start my next unit again um, or actually thinking about it I've, I'm still kind of waiting for those to come in so that might put me up I might have a week where there's no video um, because um, I put an order in with Elite Miniatures and they take they could, that could take three weeks to come uh, if he's got to uh, to uh, cast the miniatures uh, and he's uh, already got other orders in um, at least that's how long my my uh, other order, my, my last order uh, with them uh, took to come in uh, so yeah uh, anyway uh, I'll uh, call it quits here and uh, we'll go down oh just before we go actually uh, I, I watched old uh, Leon's video uh, yesterday um, Leon 266 and uh, he's he's actually had uh, COVID um, so uh, just like to say uh, get well soon mate um, and uh, you'll soon be back to doing your uh, your painting and your videos uh, soon. So uh, let's get up to the painting desk and I'll show you what I've been doing. Okay, bye bye. Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, we're now down on the uh, painting desk, and uh, before you we have uh, my next unit. These are the uh, first Brunswick light infantry. Uh, the figures are front rank, and uh, I'll give you a closer look. So let's give you the blurb first. So, like I said, these guys are the first Brunswick Light. Uh, they actually have in their in that particular brigade uh, three battalions of light and one battalion of uh, Lieb, um, which uh, I think they used to be the, the Owls. Um, they got uh, redesignated. Uh, so as we can see, this, these guys are uh, commanded by a Major von Holstein. And let's give you a closer look at them, like I said. So I actually finished these guys uh, last week. Uh, late last week, I actually finished them on um, Monday, uh, Monday morning. But I'd actually ordered some, uh, some new uh, flowers and tufts and stuff from... Uh, I went back to my old favourite, uh, Tajima. Um, and uh, they actually only came in today, so um, I actually I've only really properly finished these guys today uh, by literally putting some tufts and flowers and stuff on them. Um, but the actual figures themselves have been uh, more or less finished since uh, last Monday. Uh, so let's start off with the uh, like I normally do with the rear the rear company. So as you can see, uh, these light guys are uh, more or less exactly the same as the. Uh, line infantry, apart from the fact that they have uh, their feather on top of their hat, the colours are reversed. So 
where on the line infantry you have the blue at the top and the yellow at the bottom. These guys have got it swapped around and they have the light infantry bugle on their shakos. Uh, but other than that, they're actually exactly the same, uh, apart from obviously different uh, colours on their collars and their trousers. Uh, and uh, these guys, I suppose the other big difference is that these guys don't have coloured cuffs, but they have coloured uh, shoulder tabs. Um, and that is really the only difference uh, between uh, the, line, the light infantry and the line infantry. Uh, I suppose, uh, apart from perhaps the inclusion of a bugle. So uh, this is the first, the first unit. Uh, again, uh, they painted up pretty well. I mean, I always quite enjoyed painting front rank figures. You can't really go wrong with them. Um, very, very simple. Uh, using my, my, my usual technique. Uh, now I'm, I'm not going to bother going through it because I've probably mentioned it in every video I've done. Uh, these guys have the buff colouring. Uh, and I used uh, literally just Vallejo buff, uh, which is which is a great colour. Uh, it's, it's perfect for any sort of uh, any sort of thing that's buff, really. Uh, and I suppose you could sort of like you, you could darken it down a little bit if you wanted, uh, if, you, if you know, for like if you're doing English, English Civil War or something, because it can be a little bit on the bright side. But I wanted it a little bit brighter because uh, that's what colour uh, collar uh, turnbacks uh, are. They're that slightly brighter version of the colour. Um, so this is the uh, the middle com the middle rear company. Again, uh, just four regular troops. The uh, far side rear company. Again, I just went through all the different positions to try and uh, put them into some sort of uh, relative order. So, like, if someone's turning their head a specific way, they're doing it for a reason. Uh, they're not just all uh, looking to that one side. Although these two guys do seem to be looking. Uh, their eyes are kind of uh, t to the side as if they, they spotted something in the bushes <laughs> as they're marching along, which I thought was quite cool. Um, but yeah, that's uh, another unit there, or another company. Then we have the musician stand. Now, um, I could have went two ways with the musicians. Um, although I haven't actually found uh, any pictures to back it up, um, just about every company that does uh, line uh, light infantry for the Brunswickers always have a drummer. Um, and I know that um, a lot of um, light infantry units, um, especially ones armed with muskets, um, more or less operated uh, to a degree like a normal line infantry unit. Um, uh, and there's probably elements that went off skirmishing, but generally they'd, they'd more or less operate like on infantry so um in this particular uh, uh, unit I just, well all my light units actually i'm going to do the same uh, you see that i have a drummer and they also have a bugler too uh, so the drummer is in the where i normally put a drummer in my uh stands and the front the front uh would it be if you cut them from the front it would be the front right And if we go to the NCO stand next. So here we have the NCO stand. Uh, of course you actually get a sergeant figure with the uh, front rank set. So there's the sergeant. I did actually forget to put a few corporals in, into this unit. I might I might well uh, go in and zap some corporal stripes on a couple of guys. Um, but yeah, that's the... Uh, NCO stand and finally the command stand as you know always my favourite so here we have the, the bugler I decided to put him in the command stand we have the uh, the more regal looking officer being the major and the backup uh, officer being the junior officer and then we have a, another sergeant in the back ranks and if you look uh, carefully at the officers uh, you'll see that these officers actually wore green uh, leather gloves, which is which is very odd. Um, so the officers have actually got green gloves uh, in the light the light companies, which is very strange. Um, I think it quite suits them actually. And the NCOs and buglers and drummers have white gloves still. So I made sure I put that in. So yeah, really happy with how these guys turned out. Um, and uh, yes, plans are still going on. I mean, I haven't. I still. I've actually um, 
still kind of going strong with the Brunswickers. I, I haven't actually uh, fully decided what I'm doing next to get some French in. Um, I've actually started uh, painting up my um, my avant-garde uh, unit. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. Uh, here's one of the uh, the uh, the light infantry elements, um, which are uh, in their blacks, black uniforms, and uh, we, I'm actually in the middle of painting some of the um, the rifle armed guys here that are in the grey, uh, and these figures are actually um, elite miniatures, um, of which I actually uh, brought in a Perry's command for them. Um, so yeah, that's that's. Uh, that's a little sneak peek of my next unit. So uh, yeah, that's uh, the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a like, leave a comment. And uh, if you've just come across it and you like the content, uh, please think about uh, subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all uh, in the next one, which will hopefully be uh, in more or less a week. So until then, catch you all later. Bye-bye.